Welcome. Today is our new story time with the onion. We are reading from the book Our Dumb World. <clears throat> anyway, Canada. For the United States, see pages 9 through 22. Living in the shadow of its southern neighbor, the nation of Canada will never be as great as the U.S. so long as it continues to burden citizens with universal health care, refuses to drill for oil in federally protected wildlife reserves, and neglects its duty to blindly support unilateral invasions of Middle Eastern states. <coughs> While a remarkable nation in its own right, Canada stubbornly maintains overly restrictive gun control laws, leaving the country, leaving the country roughly 6,000 annual murders short of the American ideal. On par with the U.S. in almost every other way, Canada's budget, however, remains woefully balanced. Same-sex marriage is a sad reality in all ten of its provinces, and the theory of creationism is denied to thousands of students attending its public schools each year. Nearly as prosperous as the U.S., Canada raced its resources, lowering greenhouse gas emissions and offering paid maternity leave to new mothers, all the while allowing its lagging entertainment industry, struggling fast food businesses, and weak military to go tragically underfunded. Although there is reason for Canadians to rejoice as of late, with the country electing its first conservative government in decades, and incidents of rape almost doubling in several metropolitan areas, if Canada wants to be able to compete with the U.S., it still has a lot of work left to undo. People. A warm, cold people. The citizens of Canada can generally be divided into two distinct groups. Those who are polite, and those who are too polite to bring up the fact that they've been placed in the wrong group. A culturally diverse people, men and women from all different backgrounds, can be heard apologizing in their native tongue while Canada's northern Inuit population is said to have almost 50 different words for pardon me. Subjected to some of the coldest temperatures in the world, the average Canadian spends two-thirds of his life bundling up for the winter, one-third bundling up for the summer, and can count the number of times he has lost a finger to frostbite on one prosthetic hand. Canada's national sport is hockey, ice hockey. Although ice fishing is also popular, as is ice volleyball, ice auto ration, and field hike, and field hockey, which is played on ice. <coughs> 